the motion of an object can be tracked using the object tracking technique. It works on the same principles as the camera tracking. We explained it in another video. You can do it yourself. It's simple and fun. This is merely a brief summary. Keep the following guidelines in mind as you film the video. Place the camera on a tripod. It does not have to move. If you are using a reflex or mirrorless camera, take note of the focal length you use. Select a simple object. Mark the object with some markers. They must be at least eight. A marker is something that the software can easily track. In this case, I used some tape and drew a dot on it. They must be applied to the entire object's surface. Then, slowly move the object. The markers should ideally be visible for the majority of the movement. Now, open Blender and set the frame rate to the same as your video. Navigate to the motion tracking pane. Please watch the video in the description to learn about the fundamentals of camera tracking. Import the video. I set only a small portion of the video range for simplicity. By default, the solving method is set to camera. This is the method when you have to solve the camera movement. But, since we want to track an object, click the plus icon in the object section. In this way, we have the object solving method. Set your camera's sensor width and focal length in the camera and lens sections. But don't be worried. These properties can also be left at their default values. This simply makes it easier for Blender to solve the motion. Now, add some markers where the real markers were in the video. If they are a little blurry, select the blurry footage option. Move the cross on the preview section so that it is in the center of the marker. Then, select Track Markers button. Simply delete the marker if it is too difficult to track. Alternatively, you can reposition the tracker and then track again. If the tracking process fails, you must return to the last tracked frame and position it correctly. Then, follow the marker once more. Manual tracking, on the other hand, rarely yields good results. It is preferable to rely on high-quality automatically tracked markers. You can also expand the search area to allow Blender to search for the marker over a larger area. This is why it's critical to have good markers in the video. They must be easily seen, have a high contrast, and move slowly. Repeat the process for a total of at least 8 markers. When you're finished, click the Solve Object Motion button. Check that the keyframes NB are placed within the sequence you chose. If the solve error is less than 1, the solution is correct. Then, click Set as Background to set the video as the camera's background. Now, select the camera and add the constraint called Camera Solver. You can see the newly created markers in this manner. In addition, when you switch to the camera view, by pressing zero on the numeric pad, the markers are perfectly aligned with the object. If you haven't already done so, you can change the background manually. The camera can also be rotated to align with the world axis. We must now add an object 
that follows the movement of the markers. Let's add this simple cube. Choose the object and apply an object solver constraint to it. Select the object and camera that we created using motion tracking. It's just a matter of modeling the object you want. You must position the object using the markers as a 3D guide. This way, you can be certain that the object is in the correct position in 3D space. In this case, I made this simple animation. And I'll show you how I did it in another video.